Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor. I've done a lot of tench fishing recently. If you follow my blogs, you will know that this is the fourth on the bounce after the species. I'm watching the rod while I talk, by the way. Waste no time filming. Get on with the fishing and the filming takes a, a support role. And I'm often asked, how do I determine what I'm going to fish for? Because I am an all-rounder. I fish for all species on different venues using different tactics as well. Basically, it's whatever comes to the top of the pile. As I think about my week ahead in terms of angling, I've got lots of things going through my mind. Should I fish for this, that, here, there, or whatever? And whichever one rises to the top of the pile, that's what gets sorted out in terms of my plans for the week. Anyway, I'm really enjoying tension and I've already done a session so far this week. Didn't bring the camcorder, but you've seen some of the shots already that I, of fish that I caught during that particular session. Hopefully, I'll get one for the camera today. I've been catching small rod. Not big fish, as you can see, but at least some action before the tench move in. I'm fishing with sweet corn on the hook and into the ground bait, which is Flamino. I'm adding some lake water, of course, and some whiskey link, and also lots of grains of corn as well. I've got about a kilo for this afternoon session. And I'm fishing about three lengths out off the edge of the platform. It's not deep out there at all, so I'm not mixing the ground bait very firm, so that it's going straight to the bottom. In fact, fairly sloppy, so that the moment it hits the water, it's breaking up. The grains of corn will fall quite quickly to the bottom, of course, but the ground bait will hang in the water. And I'm doing that deliberately because I want to attract the smaller fish into the swim. Now, a lot of anglers would be puzzled at that, but I'm a great believer, as I've said many times before, that a crowd attracts a crowd. And those small rudd that I catch, bean catching, don't bother me at all because when the tench come in and they see those small fish feeding confidently then they'll do the same as well. What was I saying about a crowd attracting a crowd within, within about 90 seconds of uh, those words the rod pulled round and I'm actually into a tench and hopefully that's a, a word I use a lot because I don't like to take things for granted hopefully I can land this. I've already got the net submerged off the end of the platform. It's a good idea if you can get the net in the water beforehand. Last thing you want is for a fish to come ready to be netted and then of course you start messing around with it and it uh, frightens the fish away. Anyway, I'm about to uh, I'm about to net this one. It's trying to get in the reeds which is why you need decent gear when you're <laughs> When you're fishing for these uh, species like tench, and it's quite a, a weedy or reedy, well, it actually is weedy and reedy area, and that's now in the net. There it is, first tench of the session on the bank. Means I'm not a blanker. Although I've been catching rudd, of course, it's always nice, isn't it, when you catch your target species. Following the rudd and the tench, I have now caught a small roach. And here's a clip of some perch that I spotted hanging around the platform just now. I was only thinking to myself a few moments ago how slow it's been today as far as the tinkers are concerned and then the rod goes and I'm into a fish and I've got a feeling there's a, a weed bed over there but I'm teasing it out I'm on six pound line which is more than sufficient for this particular venue and unless I get a hook pull this will be the second one in the net Great fun, isn't it? And that is what fishing is all about. <laughs> it's uh, it's given me a run around, that's for sure. But I think I'm uh, I'm favourite to land this one now. I was right about the weed bed. Well, I felt it anyway, so I knew that. But it's, uh, it's got a little bit of weed around it. 
as it comes to the net and there it is. Good things come to those that wait. And there she is, just the second one of the session. Video comes to an end, I'm ready to pack away. It's gone very still now, the winds dropped totally and the lake is like a sheet of glass and you can't see one patch of feeding bubbles. Normally on this particular venue, they're all over the place. My last video, if you watched that last week, it was like a witch's cauldron, like a jacuzzi out there, full of tench. But today, and especially tonight, which is really feeding time, nothing at all. And that's the important thing with angling. When the conditions are good, when all the boxes are ticked, pretty much anyone can catch. But the key is to catch when it's difficult. And I've caught those two fish today. I've had roach and rudd as well. But I've caught those two tench today. So actually, I feel that's quite a result in the conditions. So always remember, it's not about the number of fish you catch, but the number of fish you catch in regards to the situation in front of you at any given time. Anyway, check out the written blog. The link is in the descriptions box, also in the comments box as well. And I'll see you next week. Tight lines.